Welcome to lesson one in the place series. In this lesson, we are going to be teaching your dog how to go to the dog bed on command. Now, you're going to need a couple things for this lesson. One is put your dog on a leash and then attach the leash to either a neck collar or a harness to begin with. Then I have some treats cut up in a treat bag here and we are going to get started. The first thing you will do is practice getting your dog to go on top of the dog bed. So I'm going to just take a little piece of food here, put it in my hand, let the dog see the food, and we are going to lure the dog onto the bed. Good. When the dog gets onto the bed, you're going to mark it with good and feed. That good lets you know that your dog just did what you want them to do. It's called a marker word. Uh, other common marker words would be yes, um, or you could click. Again, get the dog interested in the food. Place. Good. And feed. Okay? Now that time I said the word place, it's not really um, necessary at this point. I just did it out of habit. So again, all, all we are re really doing right now is just, just getting the behavior of going onto the bed. So food in the hand, lure the dog. Good. I also like to, um, once the dog goes onto the bed, I tend to pull the food up high so the dog goes into the automatic sit, but it's not really necessary at this stage. But if your dog goes into that sit nicely, when you raise that food up, you could go ahead and start shaping that in. Okay? And I'm going ahead and saying okay um, to let the dog come off. And this is going to come in useful when we start to work on the stay aspect of this exercise. Food in the hand again. Lure the dog. Good. And feed. Okay? And you're going to do a lot of repetitions in that until the dog gets really good at going onto the bed really nice and easily when you lure the dog with the food. Once your dog is doing that well, we are going to fade the food out of this hand. Okay, so I don't have any food in this hand, and I want the dog to still follow that hand. Good! And we are going to feed from a pouch or your pocket. Okay? And again, no food in the hand. Good. And feed. Now, if this dog did not follow the empty hand, I would go back and do several repetitions with the food in my hand. Okay? Once the dog is following the empty hand, good, nice and easy, we are going to start to add in the cue place. Okay? And what I do here is I'm going to say the cue place, then I'm going to follow with the empty hand. So there's a sequence to everything. We start off by luring the dog onto the bed, then we fade the food out of the hand, and we have the dog follow the empty hand onto the bed, and now we are going to start to add in our cue place. So watch how I do this. Place. Good. And feed. Okay. Place. Good. And feed. The reason why we pause for just a second after we say place and then give the dog the hand signal is because the way dogs learn is that if I say place, at the same time I give that hand signal, the dog really only pays attention to the hand signal. Okay? So, when we're in the teaching phase, we are going to separate our verbal cues from our body language. Place and follow. What will start to happen, good, at some point the dog, once you say place, okay, they will begin moving toward the bed because they know that hand signal is next. And another little pro tip that I can give you is once I say place, I can start to just give them even more subtle body signals. So watch how I do this. Place. Good. So that time I just used my shoulders a little bit. So at some point down the road, you want your dog to learn how to go to the bed on only a verbal cue. But in this early stage, it's fine if the dog just needs the hand signal. Place. Good. Okay, and release. And when you're first beginning this, I recommend starting to practice with the dog on leash. Once your dog gets do, is doing really well, then you can start practicing with the leash off. 
All right, so I'm gonna see how this dog does. If he has a tendency to wander away from me, then I would go ahead and put the leash back on. Place. Good. And that, that time I just had to encourage him a little bit. Okay, but notice that I did not continue to repeat place, place, place over and over again. All right, so that's why the leash can be really beneficial in the early stages because I could have used a little bit of leash pressure to get him on top of the bed. Place. Good. Very nice. Okay. All right, so that's your first lesson on place. The next lesson we will start to introduce the stay aspect to it. A couple tips with your dog bed. It's ideal if the dog bed that you are using sets off the ground a couple inches. All right, this makes it really a really defined boundary when we start to work on the stay part of this exercise, as well as it's also helpful in the, the dog has to step onto something. So it makes it really clear to the dog that we want them to go on top of a dog bed. Now you can use folded up blankets. Um, you just wanna make sure that you fold them up so that they're nice and thick. The one thing that I don't like about blankets is they tend to move around, especially if you're practicing on a hardwood floor. So get a dog bed um, that you can use for this or you can use folded up blankets, uh, but you wanna make sure that it's something that the dog has to step up onto a little bit. All right, guys, practice with your dog. I practice a lot of repetitions until your dog is going onto the bed nice and easily when you say place or give the hand signal. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.